All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are gonna show you the impact that Surface has on the bowling ball. So I have a bowling ball that has some lane shine on it. I'm gonna get lined up, get a strike, and then we're gonna start putting more and more and more Surface to see what's the difference. All right guys, we're lined up now, so we're gonna start adding some surface to the bowling ball. We're gonna start with a 2000 pad. It should add a little bit more of early hook, but not nothing too crazy. So you can tell that it was a little bit of earlier hook, but nothing too noticeable. It was Good shot. Now we are gonna go do a thousand. There we definitely saw some earlier hook. It definitely hooked like a foot earlier than the other one. So that's a good insight, you know, from the difference between a 2000 pad and a 1000 pad that can be helpful if you're bowling on on anything. All right, so that was like a three to four different board difference between the 2000 and 1000 pad. Now we're gonna go to 500 to see what happens. This is gonna hook. Well, that definitely hooked earlier. And because of that, the ball literally died, so it stopped hooking. Sometimes we think that by putting more and more, and that or ball automatically is just gonna hook. It, what it surface does is it's gonna give us earlier hook, but also that means that our ball is gonna die sooner on the lane. So with all that said, we went from like a makeable spare to a very difficult split. So that's a big difference there. So now we're gonna go to 360. All right, so that's the hook, that, the hook that we were looking for. Definitely all, our ball hook way early. We saw the ball literally hooking by the arrows, honestly. So that's what 360 can do to a bowling ball. It's just gonna give you earlier and earlier hook. All right, so now we're gonna try to get lined up with the ball at 360 grip and see what's the total difference between the lane shine and the 360. hit the pocket there. One of the hardest thing of having a ball this tall is really hard to create like a decent shape. The ball just hooks way too early but doesn't have great back end reaction. So even if you hit the pocket, you're gonna get like very light hits. All right, so we did it. We had a strike with a 360 grid. It's not the ideal grid that you wanna have in a ball when you're bowling on a house condition, but definitely there are some times that you have to use it. You can use it and it's, it's a tool. All right guys, well, hopefully this video helped you to see the difference between different grids. Hopefully you can apply it to your upcoming tournaments, leagues, competition. Please let us know in the comments what other videos you would like to see. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and give us a shout out. We'll see you on the next video.